my vision was so impaired. It was, it was really bad. I could not, I, I should not have been driving. I could not see speed limit signs. I couldn't read street signs. Um, the signals were distorted. I was seeing double. I tried to avoid driving in unfamiliar places because um, then, it was, then it was hard. Until just over a month ago, life was a blur to Mary Jo Valley. Cataracts had increasingly impaired her vision to the point where she found everyday life difficult. I moved at love seat to five feet from the TV set so I could see it. And we were like in a theater with a balcony seating in the back and front row seating in the front. So, I don't know, I just, I could not see well at all. What cataracts is basically is the lens of the eye becoming cloudy and you can, I suppose, you can imagine a camera lens. If it becomes dirty or cl cloudy or foggy, the pictures are not gonna have that crisp edges. Uh, images are not crisp, and so there is glare and there is a blurring of the vision. Doctors at the Legacy Health System's Devers Eye Institute in Portland, Oregon, say there are several different cataract surgery options that can correct those vision problems, including lens replacements like the ones Mary Jo opted for. Cataract surgery is probably the most common surgery that we do. The lens implant, though, the specialized lenses, uh, it's a newer um, option for our patients, so that's something that patients need to educate themselves about. How are you doing, Mary? And decide if that's a path they'd like to take. All right, so you're going to feel a little bit of pressure. It's called the Restore Lens, which is an Alcon lens, and it's a multifocal lens. Traditional cataract surgery, um, a lens implant is placed in the eye that only corrects for distance, and so most of the patients, uh, if not all, uh, needed reading glasses after cataract surgery. Now our approach to cataract surgery is very different. We can implant these multifocal lenses or accommodative lenses uh, that corrects vision at distance, medium range and near without needing glasses. Surgeons replace each eye's lens in a different operation. A surgery where the patient remains awake the entire time. The first time I I told myself, okay, just focus on something and just focus really hard and don't think about what's happening. Your vision is, it's not really there. You're not seeing any knives. You're not seeing any equipment coming at you. But there's a bright light and there was a shadow. And I kept looking at it and I kept, you know, I tried to listen to what was happening and tried to be scientific about what was happening to me <laughs> so that I wouldn't be upset. You don't feel it. It's a very easy surgery. It's extremely easy. I can see birds, we're birders, and we have feeders out back, and I can identify birds from the other side of the room, whereas before I couldn't, I could just see maybe a gray, gray something flutter if I was lucky. Being able to program the TV, <laughs> that sounds so silly, because I couldn't read anything before. Even close up, I had trouble reading what was on the television. It's like a miracle. It's like a miracle. I keep thinking that if I had lived in another time, I would be blind in a few more years. I just think how fortunate I am that I live now when, when they could save my sight.